Hi, I'm Mark with the North Shore Commercial Door.com. Today we're going to talk about a, a commercial control. It's called an LCE3, and it's what we call a commercial flush mounted three button station. When it comes to you, it's going to come in this nice little white box. So let's open this up and see what's inside of it. Okay, you'll see that it's it's got an electrical job box. It's got knockouts on the sides and the top and the bottom so that you can uh, pipe in your conduit through the top or the bottom. It's guarded, meaning that the there's a raised perimeter around it. So if you were to lean against this or touch it inadvertently with your hand, you're probably not going to activate it because the, the buttons are back behind the guard. And they're designed to use on a commercial door that uses open, close, and stop technology. Um, if you're looking for one of these, uh, here's just a little hint. The Overhead Door Corporation, which is a major manufacturer of garage door openers, used a version of this from the 1940s all the way up until about five years ago. And um, it would have sat on the front cover, Colec, and it was made out in Washington State. So if yours says Colec, and it's an Overhead Door Corporation, this is, this is what you're looking for. Now with that said, you can use this on any commercial three button control operator. It's not unique to overhead. It's just, they used a lot of these. We do not supply a wiring diagram for this. Every manufacturer's uh, wiring diagrams are unique to them. So when you get this, if you don't have the wiring diagram that comes with your operator, Go real slow, take off one wire at a time and mark what terminal it came off of and uh, study the inside of this to make sure that you're putting it back the way you took it apart. Now if, um, if you run into trouble with that, if you tell us what your brand name of your operator is, the model number and the wiring diagram. We can, we can get into our library and, and look backwards. And in most cases, we can come up with a wiring diagram for you. But um, we don't, manufacturer doesn't make a wiring diagram. We don't recommend a wiring diagram. It's going to be wired in accordance with the way the operator manufacturer tells you to. Uh, here's another little hint. Usually when you get into the control box of the operator, there'll be a little plastic envelope up there. And inside that envelope, there is usually a wiring diagram. So um, go on up there and take a look, and maybe that wiring diagram is up there for you. But if this is what you're looking for, we've got them. Come and get them. You'll enjoy them. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.